you're going to want to see how we got here. You better stick around. Because today on Honest Peyton Speed Shop, Shop Truck 2.0. All right, kids. Solo trip for dad to get some, uh, go to a sweet, sweet place where we can find some cool parts. You'll never guess. Peyton didn't get to come, didn't get the chores done. This time she ignored mine, my request. So just you and me, let's get it done. I'll get you back in there when we get there. Cool, about a half an hour drive. No hot rod hunting trip. Oh, my finger. No hot rod hunting trip would be complete without, boom, son. Gotta have it. We'll see you when we get there. Peace. A few things I've learned driving these back roads this is a <laughs> back road we're gonna hit some small towns Leonard is one of them I think gully is another one gotta just keep your eyes out right in the wood line there maybe you guys already know this but you keep your eyes out in the wood line you never know what you're gonna see everyone's gonna poke out and maybe somebody's supposed to get rid of something like give it away because it's been sitting there for since uh, 1941 see I mean you got that all that cool stuff back there you never know all right We'll get you back in here when we're done. This is kind of an unexpected sight right here. Check it out. Didn't expect to see that today. Well, about 10 miles, kids. We'll get you in there. Here's the big town of uh, Leonard. That's pretty much it right there. All of it. Neat little place, though. We got great burgers at the bar, in case you're wondering. The roads here in uh, Clearwater County typically are kind of beat up. There's not a lot of people that live here and you know, it's just, uh, just a quiet little place. There's only huh, one stoplight in the entire county, and that's in a town called uh, Bagley. We're about, I would guess, 20 minutes off of the highway. Uh, maybe I'll take you home that way so you can actually see the one stoplight in Clearwater County. Uh, but there's just a lot of uh, farms out here and trees. Some more trees and farms. That's pretty much it. Uh, just a nice area to go and uh, take a drive. Um, got a nice big house over there. I don't know if you saw it. The pillar's probably in the road, but just, uh, yeah, there we go. You can see till like next Tuesday up here. So, uh, seven miles. So we got here. I'm not going to say anything. And we got Mr. Darwin there. <laughs> then we got... <laughs> This sweet guy. We might have to talk about this one. There's a bed lane over there. I don't know if I brought enough money. I have some. There's my new friend, the dog. <laughs> yeah, we got some cool stuff back there. Kind of grown over, but that's cool. Haven't walked around the woods for quite a while. Hey, we got a little frame right there. Got pieces and parts. We got fenders galore. Anybody need any fenders? Oh, look. We got a chassis here too with fenders on it. Happy birthday, kids. And oh, we we definitely found some more stuff back here. Look at that. Look at that. There's a truck chassis. That engine just turns over. That's an AA chassis. That's a big truck. Could be the next shop truck, who knows? Sure. We got another guy just hanging out right there. Look at that. Another big truck. Cow. Oh, look at that. Another frame right there. Oh, it's a wagon. Anybody need a wagon? It's right there. I'll give you his number. <laughs> Over there. There's a bunch of plugs going back in here. You can't see them. 
truck took it. The truck took a took it on with a tree and didn't win. Sixty-six Cadillacs. Maybe. Anybody need any Cadillac stuff? Oh, I'm not afraid. I didn't grow up in the city. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's got to look for the steering wheels poking out. What? <laughs> He's got to look for those steering wheels poking out. I don't know if you guys can see that. He's right in there. Look at that. It's cool stuff all up in there. A truck. Wow. There's rear and suspension right there. Bunch of model T stuff right around. Goes back over there. Look at that. Look at that stuff. Look at that. Little International. I'm not going to show you the cool stuff. I'm going to just keep that one for myself. Oh, I showed, I showed it. Anybody need a 38 Ford pickup? He said he'll sell it. Just some cool little cool yard art. So many cool things. I cannot wait to show you. There was just too many things, too many overloads. So we'll just show you what I got. And it's awesome. Just think of shop truck all right we're done i'm gassed it's a lot of walking back there truck's mad because i got no seat belt on but i just want to get out of there can you guys see back there i'm not going to show you anything else until i get home suspense is terrific you know guys i tell you what mr darwin was such a gracious guy he had so many parts back there that I just couldn't show them all to you. Uh, there was a gravel pit we didn't even make it to. Um, but I hope to come back again when I have used those up maybe. Um, right now we're just gonna take a nice cruise on our way home. We got about uh, 30 minutes. This uh, place was about 27 miles from my house, which you'd have never known there was anything cool back there in the woods. He said he'd been collecting parts for 10 years and, uh, and then finally he stopped because he started selling stuff and then these are the things that are kind of left. But oh man, if you want some Model A stuff, all you got to do is hit me up in the comments or send me an email. Uh, he said I could give his phone number and, uh, and get you guys uh, lined up on that. He's a uh, super gracious dude, super good deals too. I mean, he wants to move it. So... Uh, if you guys are interested you let me know uh, in the comments or send us an email at honestpaytonspeedshop at gmail.com and we will um, we'll get you in contact with him so uh, do that if you need it well I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time showing you stuff on the way back there was a lot of cool stuff I saw I will say that I did see a 72 Buick uh, Tudor hardtop right now you know where we're going anyway um, I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna listen to Social Distortion on the way home and uh, can't wait to show you what I got. See you when I get home. All right, I think this is the area where just something out of, came out of uh, nowhere along the uh, other side of the road there. I uh, hope it is, other than that, I'm just wasting your time. So, uh, what kind of music do you like to listen to when you're going hunting for, for parts and stuff? Oh, I wonder. Huh? Anybody? I like to listen to stuff that you know, rocking and rolling and whatnot. You know, um, this is not the area. But uh, well, anyway, hope you enjoyed this part. Remember when I was saying you got to keep your eyes open along the road? Well, if you guys need big rigs or a bus? Check this out. Just look at all of this stuff. You know, I'll even you know whatever. There we go. That's better. Look at that. Anybody need a dump truck? There's three of them here. Minivan from 83, right there. I mean, just look at it. If you need it, you probably got it. I guess how many times you get caught on the road 
I don't know if you can see it. Oop, there we go. Let's try that. Uh, behind a house. It's coming up. I mean, uh, it's pretty, pretty rare, right? But uh, there we are. There's a house right there. So uh, it might take me a little longer to get home because they're going about substantially less than I'm going. So we're about caught up. And uh, you know what? When I get home, uh, I'll show you the haul. It's sweet. Don't forget, kids, after a hard day of picking hearts and following a house on your way home, Big Red. Enjoy it, everybody. So we find ourselves on this, uh, this little dirt road here going home because there's that house that I showed you. Um, but I will say that that, uh, that was a great day. Peyton is going to be not uh, upset that she missed that one, really, because those mosquitoes were pretty tough. Um, and there was a lot, a lot of poison ivy. Good thing I stayed out of it. But uh, still a great, great day. I don't know if you can see that one. There's a baby right there. She's a fawn. Got the spots on her. See that? This is what we got here in Minnesota. I hope she uh, doesn't run back this way. Oh, there she goes. Come home, find your mommy. We've all come to know and love our shop truck project, right? Well, I may or may not have gotten some cool stuff today and might be doing some grown-up Legos here in a little bit. But uh, first, we got to uh, assess what I got. And uh, we'll get you in here maybe when we, when we see it. All right, I'm home. We got the cool stuff out of the truck. You guys ready to see it? Say hi, Peyton. Honest Peyton's here. We're going to be doing something with that cowl, that back section. It's a Chevy. There's a Ford. There's a Ford Coupe back section with the handle. Just thought it was cool. We got some Dodge Brothers fenders, some Model T fenders right there. Got some other Dodge Brothers stuff. And got that. Boom, pick up bed, son. We're gonna start playing some uh, grown up Legos. What do you think, Peyton? Yeah. Shop truck. Yeah. All right, I'm not sure if you can hear me because of the wind. We're gonna start stacking some cool stuff. Peyton's hiding from the wind, I think. But um, that's okay. Because uh, once we get going, you know, stopping us, we're ready. Oh, I forgot to tell you. That thing right there weighs 578 pounds, but it has to be here. No question when I show it to you, you'll see. All right, we're about ready. The wind is uh, doing its thing and we're about ready to do our thing. So we've got our platform ready. Um, should we get after it? Yeah. Let's do this. You excited for the rain to stop so we can get to work? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be stacking some parts out there because I got, uh, as I was walking around out in the woods, I got inspired, uh, and I started seeing things and, and, uh, I bought extra stuff just because I needed it apparently. And, um, I hope you're looking forward to, uh, seeing what I got, uh, and kind of what we're going to put together. There's a bunch of, uh, a bunch of stuff we're going to be stacking. Um, you going to be ready? Yeah. Yeah. What are you looking forward to doing to putting on there? The bed. The bed? Yeah. I kind of want to see what it's going <laughs> to, how silly it's going to look when we're done. Um, well, I think the rain has uh, subsided enough for us to get back out there and get to work. So I think that's what we're going to do. All right, looks like it's going to rain again, because why not? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to give you a little preview of our vision. Now, we do have some other parts. So we got some stuff there. Still got that guy. But what we're going to do is, you know, you can see that fender. Man, is that cool. Uh, Peyton's going to give us a walk around, and I'm going to have her point out some cool stuff and maybe some less cool stuff. Uh, we do have one thing to put on. So actually, before we do that, um, we're going to stop right here and get that thing done. Are you guys ready to take a tour? I am. Let's 
do this. So, oh! so this is Dodge Brothers Radiator Grill. Um, whatever you call it. Radiator shell. Yeah. Model T. Model T. Model T. We do have some Dodge Brothers back there in case yeah. we don't like these or want to change. Yeah. That's a Chevrolet. Chevrolet okay. Not sure what year, 20 something? 20 whatever. Um, and then model, T. model T, like the touring car rear. Yeah, rear. And then we got a Model T. Model A. Or Model A, sorry. Uh, pick up bed. Then we got, of course, we said there. The rear fenders for the Dodge Brothers. Yep. Yep. So, what do you guys think? Oh, what is this? No idea. Oh. It was in there. Yep. Hey, it worked. Okay. So, let me know what you guys think. Are we onto something? Does it look like complete trash? Does it matter? I don't know. I mean, for as much as I, not sure I like the term rat rod, but <laughs> you know, it kind of is, I guess, or it's kind of more um, throw it together on whatever you found on the farm. Like Okay, once we uh, kind of reviewed our, our progress, we took a peek and realized that we had everything too far forward and we would have had no room for an engine. So what we did is we moved everything back. Now actually you can see that the, the fender actually lines up with where the fender was there. You can still see those cool springs, just that the bed is gonna be out here. So we'll have to use that or square tubing or whatever to get it kind of set. Um, but what we did is we actually made it where <laughs> someone might actually be able to drive the thing. Um, we got our Dodge Brothers fenders, Model T, sorry, Model T fenders, Chevy Cowl, Model T uh, touring car rear, like Peyton was saying, and a Model A bed on Dodge Brothers frame. With a 478 pound Dodge Brothers uh, radiator and grill. Shell. Uh, so you can see this. Side we didn't do anything because, of course, you can't really see there in that part of the bed. There is kind of wonky. But this is uh, this is kind of the new vision. Or we'll find another frame and put it right here and put that right there. What do you think? No, 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 no more frame. Shop truck. Roadster shop truck. Still got a speedster. Who knows what we'll do with that? Oh, could you guys imagine? Flathead right there. A little three-speed going on there. Uh, maybe a seat. I don't know. What do you mean, maybe a seat? Oh, you might have stand up. I don't know. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, Legos with, uh, well, no, wait, adult Legos with Honest Peyton Speed Shop. Uh, all that's holding this together is clamps and two-by-fours and two-by-twos and hope and dreams uh, so we're gonna have to figure out some of the doors we're gonna do all sorts of cool stuff like that and we have visitors so it's time for us to go keep on wrenching have a great day don't forget to subscribe kids